all right channel fusion so this is a great trick to practice when you're in the intermediate skill level because it has a lot of nice flowing uh, tricks and a very difficult one in between so I'm gonna break this up into little pieces and explain it to you so first of all you start a double or nothing the first trick is essentially um, a cold fusion which looks like this So there are a ton of um, tutorials out there and uh, I, I'm i sure you have learned a lot of little tricks here and there but I'm gonna kind of tell you about this one thing that no tutorial ever teaches you about in terms of how you pull off a cold fusion. So, so in the double or nothing right it tells you to hit this string right? and then it tells you to hit the string in front right so what people usually end up doing is after they pull off this element is they like they have to not hit this other string in front of them right and this is kind of a tight gap if you're starting out so they're like alright let me aim let me aim and not hit that front string and that ends up looking kind of janky so think of it like this first element oops, and then they aim this next element here which slows them down and then they let go and then they pull off the rest of the element right but Here's a simple part, it's kind of a hack and like you could call this kind of cheating in a way but after you pull off the first element instead of aiming the yo-yo in between these two strings you could just let go of your non through hand um, index see it's a one and a half mount but you kind of let go and do the swing motion at the same time and it basically looks as if you hit that gap perfectly like this so you go to the right and then you go to the left right right and then instead of hitting the gap you let go and then just swing left again one two see one two as as I swing the yo-yo left I let go of the non thin hand index and it looks flawless again right see so you don't really have to like go through the process of hitting this the gap I mean, I'm sure it helps you in the long run when you want to do dense tech where you have to actually weave through a lot of strings but if you want to just do cold fusion what and then you just let go here instead of having to aim the yo-yo do this let go you're in the one and a half man swing left and then you pull off the rest of the trick I'm not gonna go into too too much detail with the rest of the trick here because there are a ton of cold fusion um, tutorials out there so basically keep in mind that you don't have to aim here in the in between these two strings you can let go just swing left and pull off the rest of the trick again boom boom alright so that's the cold fusion section of the trick what's next is after you pull out the cold fusion here you would when you dismount from a cold fusion you would just go out like this and go into a trapeze but you don't do it this time um, as you're unraveling you'll briefly end up in a 1.5 mount and as you roll this over again instead of just dismounting outright you want to land on the string on the front right like this this is basically a sub mount right so it's basically a trapeze where you have two fingers inserted oh, whoops 
Um, so it's like a double on 1.5 mount and two sub mount. Right. All right. Now after you land this, you go back into a 1.5, and as you land that 1.5, you want to let go of your non throw hand index, and this is like a basically a keychain mount, right? So it's basically a trapeze on one hand, but you have a wrap around here because of the setup. After you do that, you want to pluck the bottom string here as you roll over, and then. You want to roll this yo-yo over counterclockwise and as you do that you want to change the orientation of your hands towards you see so the string that's on your um on your index here it's going to be now towards you um so basically you flip the entire mount and as you roll this over you're going to roll over and you're going to land on the string here so i'll show you that while the yo-yo is spinning So you got into this sub mount, you got into this keychain with a wrap, do this, and as you roll this yo-yo over, you want to flip your hand, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hit this here right now, so as you can see, see the I'm flipping as I'm rolling the yo-yo, and as you roll it, you want to actually land it on the string in front of you, like that, so look at this, uh, basically brought them out but now the fingers are pointing towards you so you go into the keychain you land this and this is the next element this is a, a difficult element if um, you're an intermediate level so you wanna dismount from this brother mount but you don't want to hit any other um, strings, so you want to dismount out the front. You don't you want you don't want to hit the string up here. And as you do this, you want to flip your thing your your um, throw hand index as you unravel. So now you're in this kind of mount. Let me show you that again. this as you do this you if you keep pointing here the, the the string is just gonna unravel here so as you dismount the brother mount here before the yo-yo is the before the string escapes from your third hand index you wanna turn your hand so you intercept the string here So, you do this, see, if you just don't do anything, it's just going to leave your non uh, your third hand, but if you flip your hand like that, see, now you're in this mount, which is basically a setup for a 1.5 or a double or nothing. So again, see. I'm kind of exaggerating the motion here to see if I can show the angle better, but whoops, but you see the gist. As you roll the air over, you want to twist like that. Now you're in this mount. Are you going to use a motion to straight up go into a double or nothing? So now you're back in a double or nothing. You want to let go of your third hand index, which is actually a trapeze double on. See, this is a trapeze, and you roll over again. It's the same setup. So again, double nothing, and you let go, and then when you unravel, it's a trapeze, right? And from the trapeze, the next element you're gonna hit is a B hook. So this is a very difficult trick, if not the hardest trick in the entire combo. I'm not going to go into too much detail, so I recommend you watch a tutorial. But basically, you go from trapeze, you're going to pluck 
the string with your other hand thumb and then you have this whole setup here and you're gonna swing the yo-yo over and then you use the momentum and as the yo-yo swings over you're gonna let go with your non through hand index and then this string is gonna shoot out the side and that loop is gonna wrap around your third hand index into a hook now this is very difficult I'm very inconsistent at this so and I, I actually don't have any tips it's just practice so I recommend you keep practicing All right, but the comma before this ended up in a double or nothing, right? And I told you to let go of your third hand index. And then when your thumb, when your non third hand thumb is underneath the string coming out of your third hand, you're going to roll over. And that's going to end up in a trapeze, right? But as you roll over, since your thumb was underneath the string, you're already at the setup for beef up basically the exact same setup and you're going to use that momentum to perform the beef hook so basically you're going to double nothing let go of your index and then as you roll over you're going to automatically end up in this setup and you're going to use that rolling over momentum to pull off the beef hook so like this Something like that, right? So in a fluid motion, you're gonna add a double or nothing, roll over, and hit that beef up right there. See? Like that. So once you get that beef hook, um, I'm gonna actually show you how to get into this mount easier. If you're struggling with that element, so to get in that same mount, you go from a keychain, pluck the closest string to you with your thumb, and you're going to rotate, roll over the yo-yo counterclockwise, like this. Again, pluck the string closest to you, or the rightmost to you, rotate it counterclockwise. So from this mount, what you're going to do is going to swing the yo-yo over clockwise. And as you can see, this is basically a keychain mount where you have this uh, string plucked with your non and thumb, right? And the yo-yo is going to keep having this momentum swinging to the right. So from this moment uh, position, you're just going to swing left and see it naturally goes past the keychain mount and you're going to use some momentum to swing the yo-yo over clockwise and now you're in the 1.5 mount let me show you that again from this you rotate clockwise and then you're going to rotate it again and pay attention to this so your thumb was here right you're going to kind of make a ring right here and then you're going to miss the two strings that's further away from you from your third hand and pass the hand closer to that whole loop that's coming out of your third hand index and then you're going to use that momentum to swing it over again from this position one and you're transferring the finger from your thumb to your um, index as you roll over again <coughs> so from this mount rotate one and twice and you're in 1.5 mount again one two if you break that into parts it's essentially gonna be so from this mount, roll once, and then you're basically 
letting go, and then only taking this string coming out of your throw hand from uh, with your non throw hand index, and you're rolling the yo-yo over. But that's just going to be done in a fluid motion. So this is the mount. Begin with one, two. Again. One, two. One, two. It's basically a repeater if you think about it. You can go back and forth doing that. Again. Oops. On this mount. One. Two. So you're in the 1.5 mount. So keep practicing that. I'm just going to move on from the 1.5 mount. So the yo was rotating clockwise, right? So you're going to use the momentum to keep rotating the yo, to keep swinging the yo-yo. And as it swings around, you see out of these three strings, you're going to pluck or undercut the string on the rightmost side as in the yo-yo gap as it swings over. This is coincidentally also the string that's closest to you, so it's easy to pluck, see? So, swing over. You're going to pluck, uh, undercut this, and land the yo, yo back on this string. Like that. Again. Again. Alright, now that you got that, you're going to roll the yo yo counterclockwise, undercut this string on the left now of your third hand index, and land it back on the same string. Like that. Show that again. A 1.5 mount. Undercut the string that's closest to you, or the rightmost string coming out of the yo-yo gap. And then you're gonna undercut the other way, land on the string again. So now you're in a double nothing. <coughs> so from the double nothing, you're gonna. Roll the yo-yo counterclockwise, but you're going to hit the top string here as you roll it over. Like that. See, now you're in a sub-mount again. Double nothing, sub-mount. Double nothing, sub-mount. And sub-mount is basically a trapeze with your... Both of your thing indexes inserted in the loop, right? Again, double nothing, sub-mount. So, but this time as... You roll this over, you're going to pluck the middle string, so you see the string coming straight out of your bearing, with your non through hand index, you pull it towards you, and as you do that, you want to rotate your through hand index, like this, and you can see, towards the bearing, this is a trapeze, but kind of crossed, see, trapeze, and then you point non the non thread index towards you, and then you spread the string apart. This is the same configuration. So I'm going to show you that again. Double nothing. Roll. Pluck the middle string with your non thread index. Rotate your third hand index, and see both of your indexes are pointing towards you. And you have a little cross down there in the bearing. And this is basically the same as I told you again. A trapeze. And then you rotate your non thread index and you pull this apart. So from this, you're gonna roll the yo-yo over like that, right? Basically what happens is as you roll this over, you're gonna rotate your both of your indexes like that towards and like away from you as you roll over. See? Again. You know, roll. You're basically peeling this out, I guess. So, 
as your indexes are pointing away from you as you roll it over, you're gonna make sure the the gap of the yo-yo is going between the cross crossing area of these two strings in the gap. And then you're not gonna hit the top string here. The yo-yo is gonna come out in front of the string here. And go over. So in a fluid motion, it's gonna look like this and like this. Again. I'm a double nothing. Roll out. Do this. Pluck the middle string, rotate your index. And using that momentum, you're going to roll the yo yo over. And now it looks like kind of a sub mount, but there is a twist here. So from this mount, you're going to roll the yo yo over. But you only want, you want to pass a yo yo between these two fingers, so it's a chopstick. But as you pass the yo-yo in between these two fingers, you're going to pluck the rightmost string with your thumb. Like that. And you're going to land on the string further away from you. So now it looks like this weird... It, it's actually essentially a brother GT, but you have your index inserted through here. And you're going to use a momentum to roll the yo-yo back counterclockwise and now you end up in this setup for a, a tension slack actually so you see this slack that's hooked onto your uh, non-thread hand thumb it's gonna you're gonna pull this apart to apply some tension and that's gonna shoot the slack over and then you want that slack the, the, the loop clo uh, further away from you to hit the gap of the yo-yo and this is essentially like a, tra um, a kamikaze except with a wrap so let me show you that again you want a chopstick but only pluck the str string on the rightmost side you want to land on this string here not the string closest to you. Roll this back over. Oops. Now you're gonna add some tension here on your non and thumb. And you will want that slack to shoot over and hit the gap of the yo-yo. And you wanna roll this back over. Now you're in the same mount actually. This is a repeater. Let's see. So you want to practice that tension slack. This is very difficult if you're first starting out. After you hit that slack, you can roll back over. And then you're going to roll, now this time, roll this over clockwise. And hit the string that's further away from you. And you want to let go of the loop that's further away from you, from your not rand index. And you end up in a brother GT. Where you pop out the front, and you could just let go here and end the trick, but in this case, you pop out, oops, but you want to pop out through the back. And, and you want to go over all the strings and then you want to land on this string that's further away from you in which case when you let go of your third hand index will end up in the GT where you pop out the front so to show you that again you do this and that and that's child fusion.